From Reuters, as a political vacuum continues to grip Tunisia, days after popular revolt overthrew the country's longtime president, hundreds of ordinary Tunisians spent one day visiting the burnt-out husk of a mansion that belonged to one of his relatives. Crowds stripped the grounds of its furnishings to take back what they say was the country's stolen wealth. Amateur video shows the moments when the seaside villa that reportedly belonged to the nephew of ousted President Zain al Abidin Ben Ali was burnt to a hollow shell by rioters at the height of the popular uprising. Since then, residents of the Mediterranean resort of Hammamet, as well as visitors from around Tunisia, have come to the once lavish grounds to reclaim wealth they say the president's family pilfered from the nation. For three men, that meant an air conditioning unit, which they were dragging along the floor. One local man said that the land used for the mansion did not rightfully belong to the former president's family. So a lot of people were going to the prison just because they were defending their land here. This is an illegal building just because a lot of uh, members of the family of the president were stolen this palace or this land from the inhabitants of Hammamet just because they were so powerful and now we hope that everything will belong again to their real owners. Crowds of people, including entire families, filed through the beachside villa throughout the day, taking pictures of the empty and ransacked wreckage of broken chandeliers, burnt-out furniture, and shattered widescreen TVs, some taking away what they called souvenirs. One man who plucked feathers from a once grand feather sofa said that the sofa's contents symbolized the country's squandered wealth. <laughs> And this feather is for our houses, and this one for our brothers, and this is for all of the Tunisian people, plucked clean, one by one. They bathed in it, lounged in the feathers. This feather, maybe they got it from the Ivory Coast, and this one, maybe they got it from Israel. This is Israeli quality. Ben Ali, who ruled Tunisia for over 23 years, was forced from office after weeks of protests against his rule. One of the biggest grievances Tunisians voice against him is that members of his family abused their power to accumulate huge wealth, while many ordinary people could not find jobs. These will be souvenirs for my sons and grandsons. Because of the problems that happened in Tunisia, the stealing and expropriation. As the crowds of onlookers carried out their work, there was little left of the mansion, once a protected oasis for those closest to the regime. Men on motor scooters fled with expensive trees that populated the well-kept garden. Others systematically pulled up the underground sprinkler system from the lawn. And more took home crystal stones that had formed the floor of a bamboo garden. <laughs>